This is a story of camels and talking robots. As some of you know, the camels racing was introduced for intertribal racing and intertribal challenge. And this was a source of, this was a source of, uh, excuse me. Sorry, this was a source of uh, entertainment, pride, and prestigious awards. And this eventually evolved to be the part of tradition, culture, and, tr and heritage in the Middle East. Initially, children were used as jockeys in the racing, until 2002, when the United Nations had urged to replace this, camel, this child jockeys on the camel with any other alternatives. At that time, Qatar came up with the idea to develop the camel jockey robots which replace the child and saves it. Because the child jockeys were a human rights issues. In 2005, a compact version of this robot was developed where it had a longer whip made up of polymer. It had it was able to revolve from 500 to 1700 RPM. This was cute and it was small enough. In 2008, when I first arrived in Qatar, I was fascinated to see the robots riding the camel. However, I have observed that the voice of the trainer was really influential on the camels. But as a person who cares for the animals, uh, I was not so happy to see the camels being whipped too hard to make it run faster. So my aim was to save the animals and to keep the tradition going on. In order to know the intensity of this whip, I have tested this robot on a dummy camel and operated it for 10 minutes. So this is what happens. You can see the fiberglass is a little bit damaged, and this is what happens to, to the real camels. As I told you, my passion, my dream, was to save the camels and to keep the race going on. For that, I developed the world's first non-invasive camel robot, which I call the Little Master, which is, uh, has a shorter whip, has a red whip, uh, which, which, which means that the camels are very catchy to the red color, uh, it, it simulates the oral commands of the trainer, and it's solar-powered, lightweight, cost-effective, and most of all, controlled by a mobile phone because everybody has the access to mobile phones. I have tested this little master on the real camels in the training center at Shahania. The camels really respond well. I would like to show you the video where the trainer is along with the camels, and it really moves with the motion, the physical stimuli of the, of the robot. In the future, the camels would be controlled by the brain waves and the thought of the trainer. And the camels would be having a vibrating belt so that it can give a physical stimuli at the appropriate points. This is a successful example where I have involved a robot, animal, and a human interaction, which can be adapted to other animals and robotic system. This is how I was able to conserve the welfare of the camels and preserve the heritage and keep the race going on. This is where the tradition meets the technology. Now I would like to show you the demonstration of my little master. So it has three modes. The first mode is a physical stimuli, which is controlled by a mobile phone and it has the wireless Bluetooth connection. It can be transformed to 3G or a 4G con uh, communication system. So now I'll do the physical stimuli, where you can see it's just vibrating and giving a notion that it needs to run faster. And the second one is the oral stimuli, where I give the, so it's not loud enough. Yeah, I, yeah. So this is the language of the camel. And the third mode is where I need the both stimuli, the physical and the oral stimuli, to keep it running faster. For that, I just need to operate the whip together. So, keep it quiet. 
So this is the future and the next generation of camel uh, jockey robots. This is the future of racing, and this is the future for speedless camels. Thank you.